like to welcome everyone to part one, Tips for Parents in Preventing Teen Alcohol Use. My name is Gretchen Hagenbuch. I work for Karen's Education Alliance. You are the number one influence on whether your child has a relationship with alcohol or drugs or not. In case someone hasn't told you that, you are, even though it seems like they don't listen sometimes. When we talk about prevention, we're talking about the promotion of a constructive lifestyle and norms that discourage drug use, the development of social and physical environments that facilitate a drug-free lifestyle. And the fact that you're just watching this means that you're invested. These are some tips. Be clear about your disapproval of drinking. You do need to say it out loud. Uh, don't assume that they, they know, say it out loud, that it goes against family values, that you love them, you want them to be healthy, you want them to have success. Be on the same page as your spouse or your partner. Kids can sometimes go to the other person to try to get the answer they want. This is an active moment where you need to bring the topic up and decide that you're gonna have each other's backs. No good cop, bad cop. We're a united front. Host parties responsibly, and it's not easy. There is a bit of a moral obligation when you invite other people's children into your house to make sure that they are engaging in healthy behaviors. And that means sort of being in their business. It's your house. You can go into any room you want at any time. Your child may not like it, but as the adult, you have to do what you have to do. Be age appropriately open. If there's a family history of substance use disorder, remove the shame. We know that it's a risk factor for substance use disorder. This can be a tool for future refusal skills. They can go to a party and say, no, 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 I'm, no, thank you. I've got this stuff in my family. It would be bad for me. Utilize teachable moments and clarify false perceptions. The majority of teenagers in the United States are making healthy decisions. We just don't talk about it. We hear other people say, oh, everybody's doing it, or everybody drinks, or everybody gets drunk in high school. It's not true. The majority of high school students graduate high school having never been drunk and having never tried cannabis, but there's a vast amount of false information around that, and we could use your help in clarifying that. Surround yourself by like-minded other adults. Your child's best friend's parents. Are they on the same page as you? Uh, try to find other adults that have your back, safe environments where your child can go and you will have the peace of mind of knowing that those like-minded adults are gonna take care of your child. As often as you can, have dinner together as a family. It's just a terrific time to gauge behaviors, engage in small talk, which can be big talk. It's just wildly important, even though I know it's super difficult these days. Yes, sometimes our kids do not tell us the truth. And it's so disappointing. And they're so good at it. One of the ways to combat that is to just get in their business and follow up. Um, don't necessarily accept their answer as being the truth. And call ahead for parties, even though your child will be horrified, it's okay. How will you know that the adult that is hosting a party has the same values around you do or against teen drinking? Um, and it is much harder to host a party that is uh, substance free, especially when the students, the kids are older, simply because it's, you have to take a pretty active role in the party. Finally, having an X plan. 
And many of you may have this already in your toolbox, but you know, no matter the time of night, no matter the situation they're in, no matter if they have already made a bad decision, no matter what, your child should know that they can call you anytime to get them out of a situation that they've gotten themselves into. No questions asked, though there will be questions later probably. Thank you very much for joining us in part one. Stand by, there'll be a part two. Uh, that one will be specific to how to intervene uh, if you're worried about a child's possible alcohol use. Thank you very much. <laughs>